Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More, and I'm standing outside the hoarder house that we are fixing up right now. Thought I'd do a quick update on it to show you what it looks like after a little bit of work and cleanup. Um, make sure you check out investformore.com. Lots more information on my flipping, rentals, real estate agent information. Uh, this house we bought for 192000 from a wholesaler. It was occupied by tenants, and the wholesaler had said it would be vacant by the time we bought it, but it wasn't, and we had to go through an eviction. And if you look at the before video, which we'll post in the description, the eviction was not fun. The people had moved out, but they had left three dogs and a cat, as well as some dead animals too. So we did the eviction. They actually got the dogs and cats out of the house before the eviction but they had been living in the home probably for at least a month or two on their own, just pooping and peeing everywhere. And then there was a snake cage in here that had a dead snake in it that had probably been there for months and possibly a dead rat or ferret or something that was just mostly bones in that cage as well. So you can see all of that in the before video. It was crazy. This house is just full of trash everywhere. Couldn't even walk in all the rooms. So, so far, um, we had to put this wall back in. They took that wall out for some reason. That's where all the closets were for the front room and the bedroom. They'd taken this wall out too. So we had to add that wall back in for the closet in this bedroom over here. So there's that closet, which they took out for some reason. They didn't like closets. They can see new windows, texture, cleaned everything out. The bathrooms were just disgusting, and as you can see, making progress on those. We just started on this house, what, three weeks ago? Two weeks ago? We had it sitting here for quite a while after we bought it because of the tenants who were in here, and then I just didn't have enough contractors to work on it. We have 16 flips going, so don't always have enough people to do every house right away. So you can see the closet in that bedroom too. The kitchen, which was horrible, disgusting, mouse droppings all over the counters, the stove. It was just crazy. So tearing all that out, getting a new kitchen from Home Depot. Um, should be here soon. And we'll go downstairs. And for some reason, Home Depot dropped off all of our carpet pad for our bulk order at this house instead of our little storage shop but things like that happen all right down here if you look at the before video I could walk about three feet into this basement without junk everywhere I couldn't even go into this room so just getting it all cleaned out made a huge difference and then of course the smell is much better now it smells like texture and construction instead of dead animals. Let's see. This room here. Um, hard to say what we're spending on this rehab. The contractor who was working on this property I actually hired as an hourly employee. He's done quite a few jobs for us and we offered him, you know, work for us full time, hourly, and he wanted to do that. So it saves us money to do that instead of having them bid jobs. It's faster, we have more control. So, I mean, 30 to 35,000 is probably what we're gonna spend on this. And then one thing that he brings with him, which is really nice, is he has a ton of subs for drywall, for paint, framing, who are really cheap. So, really nice to have them. Now we can use them in all of our projects. Kind of weird they have a window in the closet but they do <laughs> so um have that going for us now uh as you can see lots of texture drywall some framing I had to put in a new furnace they said there's basically a mouse nest in the old furnace new kitchen new baths um, that bathroom there was just nasty it was really disgusting if you want to see the before video if not i understand and then I'll show you the backyard here too. As far as the value on this house, um, 
$280,000 range, I would think. Here's just the garage. Bunch of the doors that are waiting to go in. In the backyard, if you see the before video, was full of just giant weeds. And then there was also a giant pit here. It was like four feet deep, 10 feet wide. I have no idea what that was for, so filled that in. And in the back of the house. And we just finished another one of our flips that you may have seen. A lot of people asked about putting a patio door, kind of where that window is, into the dining room, instead of just having the man door in the garage. And yes, ideally, it would be awesome to have a patio door right there in your dining room, but this house and the other house were both brick, and to tear into that brick, to add that door, would be thousands of dollars. And it really would not add much value to the property. And again, it's just an example of with these houses, with flipping, you've got to try so hard to save money. It's easy to spend money and do every repair. The tough part is saving money and not going over budget because really the goal is to make money, not just to make houses beautiful. So that's the property. Um, probably another month or so and we'll have this one done and ready to go. Maybe a little sooner than that. Probably not. <laughs> and uh, we'll have an update video then as well after it's all done. And I'll probably go over the whole process with a complete fix and flip video on this property too because it's been such a crazy one. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to get new videos. Give us a thumbs up if you like this particular video. Leave a comment if you want. And then, um, yeah, we have lots more fix and flip videos just doing a fix and flip before and after video on every house I have. So be sure to check those out. All right, thanks for watching. We'll have more soon.